Mayday, mayday. That's the sinking. Salonic Yacht Club. Service dock. Well, in the past two days, we've been doing rapid response rescue training. Uh, it's underwater training for bay constables for the immediate immersion to water to perform a underwater rescue. The Bay Council Benevolent Association raised about $50,000 to purchase rapid dive systems. They're small compact systems, weigh about 25 pounds, they fold up in a little case, usually about a 16 by 20 case. They fit on the boats, they store easily, and they're always ready for use. Everything's self-contained, it's on it, uh, the mask is there, there's no suiting up, getting your dive gear ready like, like when I do my salvage diving or recreation diving. Within 15 to 30 seconds you have the gear on and you're in the water. We purposely capsized this vessel to simulate what we would have in real life. Uh, we don't do pool training. All of our training is here in the open bay. So we do have the wind, we have the currents, we had the rain and lightning this evening. Uh, and then with the capsized vessel behind me, we were able to have the bay constables being trained as public safety divers penetrate the vessel, actually go inside of it, see what it's like. We want to know if these guys are going to get claustrophobic or when you do go under a boat that's capsized, they it gets very dark, you don't have the ambient light that you do from the sun. So we, this gives them the experience, the real life experience that they would face. There you go, yep, down, perfect. Constable Briggs has invited us up from Florida, myself and the uh, developer, Christopher Lee, of the Rapid Diver. Um, there are three components to diving, one being immediate, other being intermediate and delayed. Diving organizations, dive teams around the nation have intermediate and, and delayed and very few have rapid or immediate. Rapid or immediate is what makes a rescue or executes a rescue and can save lives immediately. I demonstrated here today with uh, a timed evolution where we had a victim in the water and we had the teams uh, with the uh, the rapid diver stowed on the vessel, timed event, grab the rapid diver, put it on, go into the water, and grab the victim for a rescue. And the average time was around two minutes. And that's plenty wonderful to make a rescue. One a day someone dies in the state of Florida alone. 365 people a year are dying. And that's an average where there has been a vehicle or something happened. So the rapid diver was developed because of the need to have some kind of uh, equipment to go into the water and execute a rescue. This equipment is great. It doesn't even compare. I mean, it's really fast, really lightweight, um, maneuverable, could get in the water, uh, get the job done a lot faster. The, fa the slowest time, I should say, to have the apparatus on and be in the water was 40, 45 seconds. Today with the rescue, from the time the Mayday call came in to the time they got me out from underneath the boat was less than three minutes. Uh, the North Shore here is a very large sailing place and these sailboats they overturn all the time in winds, gusts, squalls and if somebody does get trapped we are now capable with this tool to help save them. Some tips for people to keep safe, um, you know, life jackets on board, make sure you have all your safety gear when you're boating and uh, just take it slow especially after the storms that have come through here. There's a lot of submerged pilings, a lot of debris in the water that could uh, put a hurting on the boat. Um, and a lot of what we see every year also is overloaded boats, capsized boats. So just be mindful of the, the different dangers out there. I recommend taking a boating safety course if you're not a boater. It's, uh, it's different. You don't have brakes on it. When you're on a boat, everything's fluid. You're always in motion. Even when you stop, you're still in motion. And you have the wind, you have the waves. Everyone's just got to be smart. You know, Go to controlled speed. And if your head's the biggest tool you have, and you just got to use it.